Hi there, I'm Dakota James, the resident teaching artist at Flint Repertory Theater, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to get specificity into your improv choices. What you need to do is grab a couple objects that you need to physically manipulate in order to change what they look like. For instance, tying shoes, opening a container. I'll give you a second to grab those objects. I took my own advice and I grabbed a shoe. I'm going to take some time to actually manipulate the shoe so that I can tie it the actual way it goes. So, put that there, put the loop through the loop. And you know what? Maybe I even double tie it. Now, I was paying specific attention to the way that I put these loops together so that, let's say I was in an improv show, I know that I took the two strings, I folded one under the other, I grabbed up a loop, took one around, folded it under, and pulled it out. It wasn't just bum. There were specific actions of putting the strings under, making the loop, taking it around, putting it under, and pulling it out. These are the sorts of things that make your improv great and specific. Try them with a couple other objects and see just how accurately you can recreate your actions. Thank you for watching this video, and from everyone at Flint Rep, have a safe and wonderful week.